Hi, I'm Dr. Judy Morgan, and I'm at the AHVMA convention in Augusta, Georgia. That's the Holistic Veterinary Medical Association. And so we're bringing you a bunch of videos for really, really awesome products. And this is a new one that I've never heard of, and I'm really excited about this one because let me tell you, this is something that tastes really good. I tasted their product. It is really awesome stuff. I think your dogs are gonna love it as well. So this is Carmina, and Carmina, are you the owner of the company? Yes, I am one of the owners. I own it with my sister. Oh, sibling rivalry, how's that work out? It works great, we work well together. <laughs> That's really great. I don't know if I could do that with my sister. So how long has this company been in existence? Um, well, we actually have another line. Oscar Newman is the name of our company. We do pet accessories and clothing. That's been around for over 10 years. The Coco Therapy line has been around for six years. This is awesome, We're, I've been hiding under a rock. I didn't know about this. So explain what the Coco Therapy is all about. Well, Coco Therapy, the reason why we started Coco Therapy is because our family has been in the coconut industry for generations. So my grandmother used to make coconut oil in her kitchen, and we used to watch her when we were little, and to her, that was her medicine cabinet. So everything that was wrong with us, you know, she would bring out the jar of coconut oil that she made. So we kind of grew up with it. And then as animal lovers, when we started taking our, our um, dogs to the vet, and my sister had a Yorkie with really severe allergies and she was on prednisone for a long time so we took her to a holistic vet and she started us on um, coconut oil for our dog which we thought we've been doing coconut oil forever and we didn't even think about how did we miss this boat <laughs> exactly I mean we knew the health benefits for people but we didn't really translate it to animals so that's how the whole thing started so we thought and we just coconut oil and the whole coconut coconut meat coconut nectar coconut flour we've just been using it in our family for so long and you know it's got a lot of health benefits and it's translated to pets certainly is. So I was talking to your sister earlier and she was, you know, I said, okay, so you've got this jar of coconut oil and I didn't even ask the price. So I don't really care. But I said, okay, so what's the difference between your coconut oil and what somebody's going to go buy in a big box store? And she gave me some really good information. So I'd like you to share that. Well, the difference is there's different kinds of coconut oil. I mean, there's cosmetic grade coconut oil. It's good for your hair and skin, soap, shampoos. There's food grade, which you would buy at a grocery store. You can buy a big giant tub of it you know um, it's for good for it's healthy as well you can cook with it our coconut oil is therapeutic grade that means it has a lower moisture content and a higher lauric acid content and the lauric acid gives coconut oil its health benefits the only other place you can get lauric acid is in breast milk so it keeps babies healthy it helps regulate your immune system so if you want a therapeutic coconut oil you want one with um, high lauric acid and low moisture content and that's what we make and the reason why we can make a coconut oil with that type of um, benefits is because we own our family farm we coconuts have to be harvested at 12 months of age it takes one year for a coconut to mature so yeah and that's it's like if you were to um, to process a green banana or a green tomato you don't get all of its health benefits you don't get all the nutrients same with coconuts so it's the way we harvest it it starts with the coconuts we only buy coconuts from use coconuts from our farm we don't use it from other independent farmers and we make our own coconut oil as well in our own facility we only do coconuts we don't do shellfish or any other of the products that some of the coconut suppliers do so it's free of allergens plus we don't use expeller pressing which a lot of food grade coconut do expeller press we do true cold press the thing with um, cold press it's true cold press has to be um, less than 115 degrees Fahrenheit in the United States there's no um, industry standards for the term cold press like they do in Europe and when you expeller press it generates heat 250 degrees and higher so it's not really cold pressed, it's not really truly raw because in order for food to be raw it should be processed less, less than 115 degrees. So our coconut oil being truly cold pressed and processed less than 115 degrees gives it its higher lauric acid content as well as the lower moisture content. Okay, so now since I eat coconut oil for myself twice every day, now I'm thinking, okay, this expeller pressed or whatever that I'm using for myself probably isn't as good as I thought it was. So do you have a human line as well, or should I just take the pet grade, <laughs> the pet stuff here? You can take our our pet 
product because it is human grade. So we package it for animals. We have the dosing for pets and animals. However, it is human grade. That's the only coconut that we take and eat for ourselves. The other thing too with our coconut oil, um, we're also non-GMO certified. So um, that's new and having the USDA organic label doesn't necessarily mean that the products are all non-GMO. The thing about the USDA certified label, you can have 90 to 95 percent of the products non-organic. So you could have partially um, um, refined coconut oil that uses hexane and some um, fertilizers and pesticides and, and uh, five or ten percent of the coconuts use and still have that USDA organic label in it but for non-GMO verification you really do have to trace the crops back to the original it's very you know difficult to get but owning our own farm so it, it was a really great deal for us to get because having both labels you know kind of shows where coconuts come from and I think a lot of people stress you know knowing where their food comes from you know from the tree to the table. Yeah, so th this is a, a huge thing. I mean, part of it is, the, you know, the new buzzwords, but it really is true that, you know, knowing the history and where it comes from, and I just think this is awesome, and I just have to tell you, my coconut oil eating is going to change. And I'm looking around at everything in your booth, and I think this is great. So there's these treats, uh, which I just have to tell you, they taste like coconut macaroons, and they're the, the best tasting thing I've, I've had all week. Um, but then I'm looking over here, and there's actually a book over here called Coconut Therapy for Pets. Did one of you write that? No, we didn't. It's actually a friend of ours, Dr. Bruce Fife. He's a naturopathic and certified nutritionist for people. And he has written over 30 books on the topic of coconut oil. He actually revolutionized the coconut oil industry in the United States when people used to think saturated fats were bad. So he started, he's the father, he's known as the father of coconut. So he's a family friend. He doesn't endorse any products. He's written books for people mainly. This is his very first book he wrote for pets. He wrote it earlier this year and he um, he put a picture of our coconut oil in the front of the book which we loved and sure. he mentioned our brand in the book several times which is really nice yeah. and um, he in the acknowledgments he also thanked my sister Carissa and he's got pictures of my dog in it so that's why I love this. This is awesome. So I have to tell you I had a case this week um, one of my clients at my clinic sent in a picture of her dog's chin and it had pyoderma, it was all broken out, it's a puppy, and I didn't want to put them on antibiotics. So I said, look, I just want you to get some manuka honey and some coconut oil and mix them together and just slather it on the chin a couple times a day. And the next day, I get this, you know, big post on Facebook from her, which of course went out to everyone else, so it was great. And she said, look, my dog's chin is almost completely cleared in one day, and it was really bad. And so the bad news is we weren't even using the good coconut oil. Right. So just imagine what we'd yes. see with what you guys have. Yeah. That, that is so true, and it's a good thing because my Manuka honey really is um, known for its healing properties. It's a good thing you mentioned it because it's the same thing. Um, no, you wouldn't use Sue B honey on a wound. You would use, you know, manuka honey. So it's the same thing. There's over 120 varieties of coconuts, and there's over a dozen ways to make coconut oil. So you can imagine they're not all the same. They're all different. It depends. Some coconuts grow in sandy um, by the beach. Some are in volcanic areas. So ours are mainly in the volcanic in the mountains. So you get a different kind of crop compared to a sandy beach coconut. So there's just so many different ways, you know, that makes coconuts different grades and different quality. It's not it's a little bit more complicated than people think, you know, virgin, extra virgin, which there's no such thing as extra virgin by the way, coconut oil or you know, refined or unrefined. Yeah, there is exactly, exactly. So yeah. And it's a funny thing that you mentioned because I actually fell recently a few weeks ago. I always experiment to myself as well. So I scraped my knees and on one side I put um, antibiotic ointment and the other side I put coconut oil. The side where the coconut oil actually healed faster with less scarring, the side where the antibiotic is still red, and yes, I mean I can actually show you, but it's, yes. There is a bit, there's a big difference down there. <laughs> wow. And then I have one here, you can barely see the wow. with the coconut oil. Yeah, I'm constantly experimenting with myself as well. But yeah, it's I can really tell. Well, my grand, we've been doing this since we were little kids, so it's something that my grandmother has instilled in us, and so we've seen the power of coconuts. So what are the chances that I'm at the AHVMA and I run into the world's foremost expert on coconuts and has 
their own coconut plantation. And who knew there's a difference between volcanic coconuts and sandy coconuts. I, I just, this was an education that was great. I'm so excited. So if people want to get your products, where do they go? Um, they can go on our website, www.cocotherapy.com. We have a list of all the uh, retailers and veterinarians that carry it, as well as some online places they can purchase it if they don't have a store near them. This is really awesome. So cocotherapy.com. Check it out, folks. You're, I don't know how many of your dogs you're going to get because I think it, once you taste them, that's it. The bag's going to be gone. Your dog's never going to see them. So I, I guess I'm going to have to get a whole bunch because we've got nine dogs and Hugh and I are going to be chowing down on these. So uh, check them out. See you later.